Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so away to Bromley. This is sure to be one of our toughest tests of the season so far. Bromley are the only unbeaten side left in the National League. Rico Hackett, Fairchild and Michael Cheek have both scored five goals already this season. As for Knotts, we've got to build on our good performance against Halifax and make sure we you know, take that into away games as well to keep the unbeaten run going that we've started and also to make sure we start climbing the league table. Come on Knotts, come on you pies, let's do this. Part one of the journey done. That was the train heading to part two, which is the coach. At the end of the previous video, I asked you to send in your questions. And yeah, I'll answer some now. NCFC Chance asked, who is my favourite Knotts player? Now that Will Patchin's left, it's probably Christian Dennis. I'm thinking about getting him on the back of the new away shirt. And um, Bob's and Alden asked what I think of a, what I think of the um, free promotion, free relegation system. Always, there always seems to be rumoured with League Two in the National League. I think at the minute it's fine. Like two relegation slots and two promotion slots are are fine and obviously it, it used to be one that's not enough it never was going to be enough I think two is the right amount of teams I mean the National League it's got a tough nature to it and it should be rewarded to get out of that league to get promoted beautiful weather today I put jeans on but I may need to swap for shorts soon if this continues, apparently it's going to be 24 degrees. Scorchio. Yeah, welcome to Bromley. It's proper nice weather. We live a treasured life down here in the fifth tier of English football. Yeah, the team loses out. It was a while ago. McCrory starts at centre back with Rawlinson. Back of Yogo is at left back. Mitch Rose is captain and Christian Dennis. He's up for Kyle Watson. A few changes from the team that beat Alfax. Let's go. We haven't started great. Defensive horror show for our team. Yeah. I leave um, the Twitter, um, the Twitter account Max runs not Sky World in the description. Oh my god! We could be, we could be Watford again. Yeah, we could be Watford. They're five 0 down away at Man City. But yeah, we haven't started great. I don't think we've had a shot yet. And we could have been very easily 2 0 down if it weren't for some last ditch defending. My God, this shit! It's bigger than this! Shit is bigger than this! It's got a door and the window! My God, this shit is bigger than this! Cracking finish by Wilton, it's one all. It's the goat! Almost a carbon copy of what he did against Sutton from outside the area. I think this one was just from, from just inside the area. Kills it into the corner. Right, so it's half time, it's Bromley 1, Knox 1. Bromley had the better of the chances. The first 15, 20 minutes, then Knox took control of possession and eventually equalised. Brilliant goal by Kyle Wilton, his third in three games. We had several corners, but we haven't really done anything with them. Brilliant finish, like I say, by Watton. Even better than his one at Sutton. A curling shot into the far corner. Not convincing at the back, but it's not as bad as last season, let's say that. I mean, that's 
it's kind of expected when you're playing a left back at centre back. I mean, Sam Graham got injured in the week. He was out for the season, and Ben Turner is not in the squad for this game. He's he's injured as well. Right, we're about an hour in. It's probably one knots one. Nothing's happened this off. Like nothing has happened this off at all. Barely anything. Bromley have made a substitution, that's the only thing that's happened. But yeah, not coming forward now. Go on, Enzo Baldwin. Dennis! Dennis! Oh. Good save. Good effort by Dennis. Dennis! 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 Yeah, that's like the second thing that's happened all second half, that is. Good finish, but yeah. Why we sat 10 men behind the ball, we left one up top, the rest were behind the ball. So what happens? <laughs> Apologies about the sun, I can't really help it, it being in the way of the... In the... Um, of, the of us clapping the players off. I'm tripping over leaves. Yeah, new season. Away form is no different. Yeah, we stopped off at the services um, on the way back to Knott's. Yeah, um, I didn't think Bromley completely tore us apart. It's just in the second half we lacked creativity. We didn't, we didn't do enough to win the game, but we didn't deserve to win the game. But I don't think we deserve. We didn't deserve to win the game, but I don't think we deserve to lose either. It was just a really good, a really good goal that won Bromley the game. Yeah, we're back in knots now. Great day out again. Away days are always a good laugh. And then the football happens and it just, and yeah, the football happens and it just, it disappoints and not so away from home. We always disappoint and yeah, away form needs changing really quickly because it's been like this for the past few seasons. So we're back after another away day, Bromley 2, Knots 1. I didn't think we did enough to win the game. I don't think we deserve to win the game, but I don't think we deserve to lose it either. I didn't think Bromley tore us apart. It's just a, a really good goal has won them the game. They looked solid at the back as well, Bromley. They looked very decent defensively. Second half, we lacked creativity, and that is what affected us. And when Bromley scored their goal, we only had one player... We only had one player in their half, and that that's that's going to cause problems. When you sit back, you're going to invite pressure, and we invited that pressure, and Bromley scored from it. Bromley were the better team for the first 20 minutes, then we started to come into the game a bit more. We ended the half strong with a lot of corners. Carl Wooden scored a good goal as well, even better than the one he scored against Sutton. The second half... In, in the second half, something changed. We stopped being brave with the ball. Like I said at the end of the Sutton vlog, one of the things that we need to start doing to start climbing the league table is being brave with the ball. Second half, we weren't. It looked as though, you know, we were fine with just keeping the ball and passing it around the back. The lack of urgency was very frustrating in the second half. Even in the 90th minute when we were 2-1 down, there's no urgency to get forward. Sometimes when you're in that position, in the 90th minute when you're losing by a goal, just get it in there. Try and win a flick on and play play from there. It looked like we were happy with a draw for, for, most, for most of the second half. And that's really frustrating when it we've got to we've got to step it up. In the first half we ended the, as the stronger team. We needed to pick up on that in the second, and we didn't. We we just kind of looked, you know, we lacked ideas going forward. We lacked that creativity. We lacked the bravery to make them clinical passes uh, to get us into a better scoring position. But we've got to take it game by game and. 
we move on to Tuesday, we move on to Bournemouth away, and then we got the and then we got filed to round off the month of September. We need to pick it up. We need to pick up the performances. We need to pick it back up to the standards that we set against Halifax. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Remember to send in your questions for the next vlog as well. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Sulu.